Hello once again programmers. Um it's me Dylan. Um I didn't post this video for a little bit like I promised in my last video, uh my actual tutorials because we didn't have internet for a few days, so now we have internet and I'm gonna upload this video now. Um first off I wanted to show you my uh my asteroids thing. It's actually come a long way since the last time I showed you. We got some asteroids, we can um, fly around and blow up. <laughs> Hope you like my animation. Um, but first off, we're going to ma be making the title screen. Um, copy all this is all you're going to need. Um, we're going to start off making the fields, which they're actually called. But I always called them the variables, so call them what you wish. First, we're going to need the name of the title screen, which is going to be Breakout. Um, we're going to need a container. So, private container C. And you can call container whatever you want. I just call it C because I've always called it C. We're going to need a private J frame. And we're going to call it the menu screen. And uh, what else? We're going to need a button. Private J button. And the button, the title screen is not going to look as fancy as my, my uh, asteroid screen. Because J buttons aren't that great when you want them to put so somewhere. So what I'm going to do, do in this video is actually use absolute positioning which means I could put the button wherever I want so I hope I can do that for you so start button and uh, I think that's it for now so let's first off start making the menu screen dot set default close operation which this makes the screen actually close because if you didn't have this, it would be still running in the background. It just made it invisible, which is kind of stupid, but whatever. Set visible. Oh, whoops. Dot set visible to true. Um, which actually, I just forgot something. I didn't even instantiate it or initialize it. Equals new J frame. And we're going to call this breakout menu screen. And uh, then pack. Actually, no. I don't, I'm not sure if we're going to need pack, but we'll find out. So um, then we're going to need this dot set preferred size, new dimension. And what I'm doing here is actually setting the size of the J panel. And we're going to make it 300 by 300. And uh, we need to initialize the container. C equals menu screen dot get content pane. And then uh, let's initialize the J button. So start button dot set oh, whoops equals new j button and put the name of it which we're just going to put start and let's set the size to start button dot set preferred size equals new dimension and we're going to set it to 100 by 100 and this is my new mic. I hope you guys like it. You can understand me. Um, and start button dot set bounds. This is how we tell where we want it. So X is going to be, um, let's just do like 150. And then, actually no, maybe a little bit farther back, 120 then 150 down 
then width is 100 by 100. And then we need to tell the J panel, which we need to do this at the end. Um, we need to tell the J panel this dot set layout to null, which means we're going to use absolute positioning, null. And then we're going to add um, this dot add the button, start button. So we add it to the J panel. And then we're going to add the panel to the actual J frame. So this. And we're going to see how far we've gotten. Um, oh, whoops, sorry. Forgot to put new title screen. Always forget that. Um, ooh, it's kind of small. Well, it worked, but I guess you still do have to call pack, so I'm going to do that now. This dot, oh, whoops, menu screen dot pack. Ho hopefully that still works. And it doesn't do what I think. Yes, it works. Cool. All right. Um, now that that worked, we can move on to putting a string on the screen, which I got still a lot of time, like two minutes left. Um, so we're going to do g dot set color, color dot red. Um, all right g dot draw string and we're gonna put name in here which is the name we put up in the fields which is breakout and then this is actually where we want to put it on the screen which it might be 120 and then maybe a little bit up so it's 10 and let's see what that looks like um, cool 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 um, alright, uh, we could set the font, so g dot set font, new font, and just to help me out, we're going to do import font, and then, I think it's this one, basically we're going to put like plain well actually I think there's a thing for it so font dot plain and then this is basically going to be um, font dot uh, hold on it's um, serif I think yeah and then the size, which let's put like 16. Actually, hold on a sec. Sorry about that. I messed it up. Um, the first part is a string. So we're going to put, actually we're going to put name. And then let's put 10, 18. This is like setting the size, like width and height. I'm pretty sure at least. And let's see how that looks. Oop, it's a little off the screen there. So let's put it down just a little bit. So 20. And uh, there we go. We got our title screen. And uh, I don't know why I did that. Um, all right. Now, um, next tutorial, we'll get the button working and pulling up our actual game screen. So, I hope you're enjoying this. Um, send me feedback, subscribe, comment, like. Give me feedback. It really helps so I know that you're actually like the video and want me to do more. But uh, till next time, programmers.